Hey everyone, he, here we are at our next weekly episode. I think we're episode number 27, Mr. Asiyama. Uh, wow. I know, can you believe it? We started well, last last April, last May. We're almost at our one year anniversary. Almost, and you'll notice that Crystal is not with us because you know we're busy and she's in a meeting right now. So it's Mr. A and I, and we're gonna just talk about stuff. But before we jump right in, we do what we always do. We always do a check-in. So, Mr. A, how how you been this past week? Oh, man, I'm good. I think, you know, of course, it's been a long week, but the weather's getting nice. So I'm super excited for the weekend. I heard the weather is supposed to be, what, 7 tomorrow. So that's a good thing. So hopefully all of you guys go out. Yes, get, get some fresh air, do a hike, do a walk. It's going to be glorious, except on Sunday it is going to be raining from what I can tell, but tomorrow is going to be beautiful. I think there's sunshine and high of seven. No, that's good. I'm super excited for the weekend. Yes. So what we're going to do this week is I'm going to pull up a quote and Mr. A and I are going to talk about it. Okay, so this quote. quote, yeah, let, there we go. So the quote is, at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of my life, I want to be able to say that I contributed more than I criticized. And that is wow. coming to us from Brene Brown. That's deep. It's a deep quote. Um, I guess my thoughts on it, it kind of feels a bit about, you know, making sure you're living life to the fullest making sure that you're being intentional. It says that I want to be able to say that yeah. I contributed more than I criticized. So it's more about, you know, really looking at things because we always have that choice that we make of, am I going to complain? Am I going to just do it? Am I going to just get through this? Am I going to just perform? Yeah. Um, so I think from first thoughts, I'm really getting that kind of deep meaning about, you know, making sure that you're productive and that you set out to do the things that you want to do. Exactly. And I, for me, it presupposes a level of confidence that you are worthy, that you see yourself, you know, if I'm going to say that, then, you know, I've got to know, okay, I have something to give. Uh, I'm not just going to, you know, stand on the sidelines of life and say, oh, I wish I could be like that person. I wish I could be like them. Oh, look at them. They're so awesome the way they do stuff. This presupposes that no, wait a second. I deserve to be in the game, not just sitting on the sidelines. I have something to give. No, I really like that. I really like that because, and I like that at the end of the day, which really me makes reference to our time here is limited. Mm -hmm. So we have to make the best of it and always keeping that in front of us, especially when we sometimes get into thinking that, you know, we have all the time in the world or that, you know, we could just lie around and time also doesn't move while we just chill. Right. You know, so I think what it really shows that there is a, a due date for everything. Right. And so you have to get to the things that are important to you. You want to be able to say that you focused on it and you got it done. Exactly. It, it's this sense of, uh, okay, here I am. I'm only here for, I've got a day. What am I going to do? What and good am I? What good am I going to do today? Whether it's hold a door open or help uh, another, you know, my my fellow student with the assignment or with this homework or, you know, uh, you know, how, how am I going to help my younger sibling or my parent or, you know, that sort of thing. Or knowing, hey, my grandparents are lonely in this pandemic. They can't really do anything. What are ways I can, you know, be with them and let them know I'm thinking of them and love them? No, you know what? That's what I like about that at the end of the day, because mm -hmm. it shows accountability to the our each moment, each day. Um, and it really kind of like we have to make that impact on a daily basis. And then like what I like about the word contributed, mm -hmm. it means that input that you make, and it could make reference to different areas of your life. So yeah. it's not just your academics whether it be your well, your well-being, wellness, you know, your, your family, friends, volunteering, community, but the word contributed, you know, really brings um, just that whole holistic approach to, um, there's no limits to what per se, you know, you could be contributing to, yeah. Yeah, and especially next to the word criticized, 
Mm -hmm. right? We, we all know what it's like to be criticized, to be cut down, and then to, to say, well, I'd rather be known that I contributed more than I criticized. We don't want to be that person who cuts someone down or criticizes. I think we all want to be someone who contributes. So there's a, a sense of I'm confident, I'm worthy, I have something to give. And there's mm -hmm. a sense of uh, confidence, uh, you know, a, a sense of security of over your identity. Because people who criticize, I mean, I, I can't diagnose, but I, I think it's kind of common knowledge. People who criticize tend to be a little insecure and fearful. So I think we want and to be confident people. We don't want to be insecure people. That's it. And, the, you know, the criticize sometimes, you know, um, you just want to make sure that you're looking at things and also trying to see both, not just the negative, right, but the positive mm -hmm. in all things. And also, where yeah, the, the potential. Critique, the potential you have to see it because it's easy to critique everything right and have mixed emotions feelings yeah. opinions but you know when you get into critically just make sure you're also allowing yourself to see the positives um that you have in all situations good and bad exactly and of course we are a faith-based school you know we're christian we're catholic this is exactly what jesus was all about you know he, one God became human. So if we want any, any stronger validation of being human, I can't think of one other than God said being human was mm -hmm. okay. So okay that I'm going to, you know, send you my son to be human. And two, we see Jesus always contributing more than he criticized. And, and when he did criticize, it was because, well, he's the son of God and he saw the people who should have been doing better were not doing better. That's it. So we all can contribute you have to, gifts and talents. Okay, you may not be a Brene Brown or you know somebody else who's you know already out there doing stuff, but you're you, and the world needs you, your version that's of you. It. Yeah, and that's so impactful. Impactful because you don't have to be anybody else. Your, the contribution comes from you, and it becomes unique to you, and becomes what you bring to the, you know, to the to the world. Exactly. So at the end of the week, and we are coming at the end of the week, this is a good time to look back. Okay, how was the last week? Did I contribute more than I criticized? And then if the answer is not really, uh, you know, don't beat yourself up. Tomorrow's a new day. Mm -hmm. ba baby steps. Look at ways you can still contribute. Even in a pandemic, there are still things you can do. And I, I totally agree with it. And that's the daily journey, just making sure that your output is good. Yeah. And, you know, of course, you're resting when you need to, but then you're also being able to um, produce. Exactly. So I think we'll end it there. This week's episode will be short and sweet because in all our previous episodes, we basically have said a lot about mental health, spirituality. We've said the same things over and over again. Uh, so I think we're going to maybe start shifting focus and looking at quotes that we can talk about and how and that love, helps. I love that idea. And it gives us kind of direction. So there's your little jolt of, you know, uh, you know, self-esteem boost and feeling better about yourself. You guys have a good week. Hang in there. Mr. A, do you have any big plans for the weekend? You know what? I'm just going to get outside and I hope all of you guys do the same thing. Get some fresh air. It's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait. I might take a longer walk with my dog just because the weather is going to be great. You so everyone, to. yep. Take care, Mr. A. You have a good weekend. Take care of yourself. Thank and you. We'll, we'll see you next week.